here we are, early into this A main event for K T Light. So it's Levi Harless, your leader. Eric Johnson is in the second spot. Tower is third. Here we go. Harless Johnson. Tower, here they go. Homestead 
it. Crisscross applesauce as they go into three. Ross on the outside. Homestead on the inside. And Homestead regains second spot. Venable goes around, no caution. Oh, and Flippy leaves the door open. There goes Homestead. Back around. New leader, Tyler Homestead. Tower left that door open just a bit too long. Maybe overdrove that corner a little bit. And it cost him dearly. He's in second. Oh. Second. Be, whoa, that was a main event right there. Tyler Homestead walks in here and takes the main event away from the regular here at KT Light. Homestead Tower, Rossmeyer. Great effort. Steve Miller. Fourth. Eric Johnson, fifth. Chris Approve, sixth. Harless, seventh. Venable, eighth. And Mr. Bold. Wow, what a main event. Woo! Wow, we love it. Love it. Hang on to your hats, folks. Huge class, 14 of them. Thomas Mistich is gonna be on the pole. On the outside will be Brian Williamson, the 37 camera carding, CBR one side customs machine. Row number two will be Renee Angel and Kellen Dean. Row number three will be Brian Green and Larry Wheeler. Keep your eye on him. 281 is Rutledge and Corey Markham. Make up row number four and row number five is Abby Storr and Eric Boyce, Corey Markham, or Darren Markham, Eric Boyce in the 87 X. Here we go, we're underway, 206 Heavy. Dean has got to beat Williamson and hope Williamson fades because a second for Williamson is going to wrap the deal up. Green moves into fourth. Angel is third. Vintage goes from the full to fifth, like that. That's how tough 206 is. You make one little mistake and his feet on the racetrack. Rutledge in the 281 is sixth. Behind him. Missage, seventh is Corey Markham. Eighth is Darren Markham, ninth. Was Morris, Larry Wheeler goes by, so he'll be ninth. Tenth will be Morris. Store 11, Michael Reed. 12, now 11. Boyce is going to go by Store. Leader is Brian Williamson. Kellen Dean, as they cross the track, grenade. Oh, we got one hard. Looks like it was harder than the wall. I don't see anything. Bunch of rocks out on the racetrack now. Williamson got Dean filling his mirror as they come off of turn number four. And then there's about four car lengths, maybe. Back to third. Renee Angel, Brian Green, and Rutledge, your top five as they cross the strike. Williamson, you can just see it. Problems for Missage. 
and she's off the face down the bottom of the apron there. Green working on Angel, not this time, but they go into turn number one. Rowdy all over the back side of Renee Angel for that third spot. Rutledge is fifth. And not quite a half a straight way back to Corey Markham in six. Dean. Boy, Darren Markham goes by Corey Markham. Wow. That's back for, uh, that's for six spot. Corey Markham, seven. Eighth is Larry Wheeler. Ninth is Bree. Tenth is Blois. No, oh, and it's going to get rangy now here. Williamson. And it's a throw a blanket over the top four. Rutledge is barely hanging on to the coattail of that blanket. Angel going for second. Working on Dean. Going to go to the bottom. She got it. Dean goes to third. Green going to follow her through. And so does Rutledge. Almost. So Kellen Dean in the late stage is falling apart here. As he was turning up the heat on Williamson. And out of nowhere, the female female, Renee Angel, drives right on by. Wow, we one to go. This is unbelievable. Williams is going to wrap up the championship. And he gets it. Williamson. Oh, we got one over, looks like. I didn't see the go over, I just saw the after effects, but uh hate to see that. That's Steve Morris. Hey guys, back away, just back away guys, give him room. Nobody's supposed to be on the racetrack. All right, let's give a round of applause for Steve Morris up under his own power. That's always a good sign. He'll be sore in a couple of days, that's for sure. Hey, how about it? Let's give Stephen Morris a round of applause, everybody. Wow, what a finish. Holy smokes.
All right, Predator, you should be on the grid ready to rock and roll, as well as Super Sport 200 and 206 Lite. You should all be making your way to the grid right now, if you're not there already. And guys, you know, you gotta remember when somebody's down on the track, you, I get it, but you can't be running out there. We don't want, you know, more than one person to be uh, in trouble. Nobody's trying to be a jerk or anything. They're just trying to do what they're been told to do, and that's to keep everybody off the racetrack. So, unless you're beckoned out there, please stay put. You're in good hands. You got an EMT here and everything, so just trust them. So Predator, race group five, you're up next. Super Sport, 200. Um, Angel. So I, I, I had unofficially 37, 245, 41, and 281, but that may not be 100%, right? to be Brennan Gregg on the point. On the outside, here we go. On the outside is going to be Vince Eaton, David Smith, Greg Heinrich, Megan Eaton in the four and the 71 of Dave Waters. Oh, good save by Waters there, almost. Had a mess there, but look at Vince Eaton going to work. Smith is third, fourth is Heinrich. Heinrich going to get underneath Smith though, off of four. So Heinrich to third. Waters is now fifth. Brady Gray for the lead and turn over four. He gets underneath Eaton. And he just may, no, oh, Eaton's running pretty good. It's a little real estate on Vince Eaton in the second spot. Third is Heinrich, but not for long. There goes Dave Smith, under, out of four, gets underneath. Water's going to follow him through. Oh, boom, and a good lick there for Heinrich. I don't know if he got a little nudge there from Waters or not, but he got turned around and... Uh, doesn't look like much until you're in that seat. That's, that's quite a lick when you hit that concrete. And you watch those bad flips and you know, nobody ever gets hurt, but those little whacks like that, those are the ones that take it all out of you. Hundreds okay, back running, so. Maybe, something, maybe, I'm sure something's got to be bent on that bad boy. Yeah, he's cruising to the pit area. So Greg Heinrich today is done. Tough break. 
for Greg, who was running really good today. But there'll be another day. So it's Brennan Gray, Vince Eaton, Dave Waters, David Smith, and Megan Eaton. Smith currently leading the points with Dave Water second. I don't know the spread, but I'm sure uh, Waters would like to get up there and win this thing. Look at Brandon Gray. He's now in the third as Waters gets by. Oh, look at this, Ty Easton. How 
to backpedal a little bit. came to play, saved the best for last. He just now got to keep her on the racetrack. That's all he's got to do. Well, Wilson retires. He goes to the pit area. Wilson has retired. Mark, so he's uh, so it's Ty Easton, Dave Wooten, and Wayne Big Daddy Bauman. Had you watched the heat races, you would have thought, boy, I wasn't expecting this. Here we go. Okay. 
Fred Wilson, fifth, fourth rather. Third, we'll go to Big Daddy Wayne Barlow. And second, we'll go to Dave Wooten. And Ty Easton will win it. So with that fifth place finish for Wooten, that about did him in championship points wise. And that gives the championship and the title to Mr. Ty Easton. That is unofficial, so but uh, looking at what the points were, it's a pretty good bet that uh, that's the way it's going to come out. 206 light coming at you. Dakota Gridlin so far has been the man. About 74 points uh, separate Kerry Hopkins and Dakota Gridlin. One, two, so but you never know what's going to happen. Gridlin on the point. Brendan Gregg on the outside. Brian Morris on the inside of run number two. Calvin Griswold on the outside. Michael Vickers, Gary Hopkins, row number three. Row number four will be Ethan Walker and Julie Day. Jason Suits is going to let it roll. Here we go. 206 light underway. It is going to be. Ooh, Grimlin gets a little. That's going to be Greg leading up to. Here comes Brian Morris. Oh, and Ethan Walker goes around. And Julie Day goes around. Will it be a caution? They're both going. Yes, there has to be. Ethan Walker doesn't. Oh, and around goes Vickers. They got a lap in, so that's a good thing. So that means Brennan Gregg will be your leader. Griswold will be second. Third will be Morris. Fourth will be Griswold. Fifth will be Hopkins. It'll be interesting to see how this one turns out. Even if, even if Gridlin were to have, God forbid, have problems in DNF, I don't think uh, Hopkins can make up that deficit of 74 or 5 points. It, it would be close, but... Mathematically, it couldn't happen, but you never know. Brittany Gray leading the way. 11 years old. How about that? I'm not sure what happened there with Vickers, but. Vickers, and eight will be Walker. Here we go. Look at the go green. Everybody heads for the gutter. Isn't that crazy? You'd probably
probably get by on the top side just out of the element of surprise. Look at this. Vickers and Hopkins into turn number three. Hopkins going to go too wide. Just going to let Vickers by. And probably Julie Day. Oh, she shuts the door. Got to breathe. Hit his mark. Stay cool under the gun. So he's got a solid piece. No, oh, Ethan Walker working on Julie Day. Is he going to turn number one? Got it. Ethan Walker picks up the spot. Wheeler rather, excuse me. So Wheeler's up one. He's at seven. Everybody chasing Brennan Gregg. This would be huge W for this kid here. 11 years of age. One of the toughest classes we got going here. Hopkins in trouble. She comes back on after being in the infield. Julie Day gets back by Ethan Wheeler. Oh, Grizzly has gotten by Greg. Whoa, wow, we have missed that for a second. Oh, and Greg. Now he falls to third. That's too bad. He had a good run going. You think about it too much. That's the deal. You gotta just roll on. Hard not to though, for sure. Look at Morris now. Can he get up there and give Grimmer a scare? championship. That's pretty neat stuff. Get to go over and watch him on the pavement here very shortly. This should be interesting. on the outside. 
outside. Boy, that clutch doesn't sound very good. So it'll be Kellen Dean and Tyler Homestead, row number two, row number three. Will be the four of Joe McLean and the OH of Brandon Day. And then you go back a row, it'll be the 65 of Brandon Rutledge and the 03 of Darren Markham. Gosh, 
Can he come in here and sweep light and heavy? That would be crazy. Dean picks up the spot again. Right about now, he needs a caution. Look at Joe McClain, he's coming. Crossfire may be in trouble. Gotta tip my hat to uh, Kellen Dean. He could have forced that issue there many times, didn't, took uh, probably in quite a bit of restraint. So, class act, Kellen Dean, no doubt about it, class act. That's uh, cool stuff. Sprint chassis, 206 coming up next. They're gonna start three wide. I. It should be okay. Till we get to turn one. <laughs> but nice effort. Dean drives back up to get fourth. That's uh, in that class. That's a that's a tough that's a tough deal. Coming from ninth to fourth. Gets those that come off. That's uh, that's not easy. Tough class right there. Congratulations to Tyler Holmes, man. He came in here and just owned up. Solid all day. It is marked. Did what he had to do. So that's awesome. Gabby Jensen. Eric Blois, I, I still, I don't know who's in the one, well, is that Eric Bean? I don't know, it could be, that's uh, what they have down. Underway. Is Jensen going to run away with this one too? Let's see. Joe McClain 
Okay, too. He rolled good as well. be a decent little class next year if they get some numbers. Oh, 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 baby, we got boys into the wall. That looks like it might have tore something, huh? Got a little tolio there, it looks like, in the right front, but... Second spot, Jensen gonna win it. Gabriella. for the 2018-19 season here at Salem Indoor Speedway for our Speedway cards. Still got the Wingless Nationals coming up at the end of the month. Well, we got next weekend, I think it's the uh, cage cards. And nothing next weekend? Horse show. <laughs> So we got the Micro Nationals, Box Stock Shootout, and what else? Box Stock Challenge, Dwarf Shootout. Dwarf Shootout, Box Stock Challenge. That should be pretty awesome. Is there a minimum number or? Wow.
That's crazy. Thousand to win for the box dog? Oh, thousand total. Dwarfs are fifty bucks. <laughs> five hundred. Wow, and twenty five hundred dollars to win the micro wingless nationals. Justin McConville is the defending champ. That's gonna be a well of a show. For sure. Free pit passes. If anybody wants to hang out and help tear down on Sunday, you'll get in, uh, your pit pass will be free. season it's been for sure. BK11 in the books, another uh, outstanding uh, event there. BK12, I think they're already planning on that. Lots of good things uh, happening. So the UAS is our final uh, event on the docket today. And the year. Big shout out to uh, the Wicks for coming down all the way from Auburn and running one last uh, open show. Big shout out to all the Monroe guys for coming down after they got a little taste of Salem. Uh, pretty neat. A lot of good guys up there. and We're glad you're down here enjoying yourself, getting lots of laps and some good racing. And uh, Mike Storr and Abby Storr, they came all the way from Spokane. So Area 51, big shout out to you guys for coming down and supporting the final event. Hope to see you more next year, for sure. Want to see that Jared Storer at the BK. And this is it. So on the point is the little Yamaha that could. Oh, look at that! He drives back underneath the wing into turn 
Waiting back by, crisscross applesauce for Rosemary, not this time. Connor Wick. Boy, if Harless wins this game, this would be crazy. Championships. Cool stuff. Hey, on behalf, hey, see you, big Dave. 
On behalf of everybody here at Silent Speedway, Jason Suchich, Bob Leach, Ryan and Robbie, Mrs. Leach, everybody, we want to thank you for a great season, another great season. Look forward to having you back. The 31st for the Wingless Nationals, the Box Stock, cha box stock Challenge, and the Dwarf Shootout. A thousand, five hundred, and twenty-five hundred bucks. Gonna be a great show. Final, final, final event. Nothing next weekend. We'll be back on the 31st for our final event of the 2018-19 season. Please drive safe. And once again, thanks a lot for all the support. Um, I, I don't think we all realize what Bob and the whole crew does here. Jason Susich, I mean, he went to school, did all kinds of stuff, getting his EMT stuff, and was still here, and was taking care of stuff. So a big shout out to Jason for all his hard work and uh, lots of effort. It's a, not always a thanking job, and he does a wonderful job at it. Big Mike up in the booth, he did a great job this year. So thanks to everybody. Appreciate you all coming down, and uh, hopefully we'll see you, those of you that are going to come and check out the Wingless Nats, we'll see you then. The rest of you, hope to see you over the summer. We'll see you back here next winter. So on behalf of everybody here at Sailor Speedway, I am your horsepower and performance broadcaster, Terry Bridges. Thanks for having me, and we'll see you next time.